in this tutorial, I'm going to be making my life a little bit easier when building and running this order management system that I'm creating for the course that I've got for Pact Publishing, all about microservices and Python. At the moment, as you can probably imagine, if you've watched the last two tutorials, um, it is a bit of an, a, an annoyance when we're having to build the Docker images every time we do a change. Every time we want to run a new container, we have to run a whole line on the command line and, and so forth. It's a lot easier if we use Docker Compose. So we're not actually going to be doing any Python in this tutorial. We're just going to be tidying up our sort of workflow, if you will. What I'm going to do is go straight back into this tutorial. This is how it was left off. This is the Docker file here. Um, this is the app.py, uh, so it is exactly as it was left, so it's just returning uh, login when we hit that. But obviously I want to change this, obviously I want to have a login form. It's not just going to say login, but I know that every time I change this file um, and add stuff into the app directory here, I'm going to have to rebuild the image because the image is going to know what it used to look like, not what it looks like now. To get around this, what we can do is bind mount this app folder into the Docker containers when it runs. And we can also use Docker Compose to handle all of those bits and pieces. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this example is kind of showing you how to use Docker Compose to manage the, um, the, the, the Flask application that we are slowly, slowly developing. So let's go ahead and create a new file. We're going to call this docker-compose.yaml. So I'm going to quickly build this Docker Compose file. Now, obviously, if um, you want to learn more about Docker, then do check out the Docker in Motion course that I have uh, from Manning Publications. It goes into all of this in so much more depth in terms of like what a container is, what an image is, Docker Compose, the theory behind containerization technology, how to build and manage Docker images from Docker files and so on and so forth. I'll leave a, a link in the description below and up in the cards here as well. But let's just continue here. So we have a service, which we're going to call app for now. It probably will be different later on. Um, we're going to give it a build context, uh, which is just dot, um, because that's fine. And then what else do we need? We need the ports. Um, obviously that needs to have the colon on the end. That is an array of ports. We're going to pass in port uh, 80 to port 5000, like so. Um, what else do we need? We need some volumes as well. So volume, volumes, and again, this is an array of volumes. Um, let's do dot app slash, um, dot slash app, because that is uh, this directory here. Um, and we're putting that into slash app on the actual um, on the actual uh, container. So let's just double check this services app build context. That's fine. Ports eighty to five thousand, and we're passing in that um, those volumes. That's fine. I like to do my volumes right at the end because there's a lot of volumes like there could be. So having that at the end doesn't mean that you have to mess around with the formatting up here. So let's just save this. Let's go back into the terminal and actually run this and see if it works. So we are in this directory, which is fine. We're in the app, we're in the, the root directory, if you will. So let's type docker compose and then up hyphen D and then hopefully that appears to have worked. So let's do docker ps hyphen A. Looks good to me. Let's go into the browser. Hopefully this has um, worked as expected. And it has. That's great. Um, I'm just going to test the bind mount that we created. If we go back to the code, um, if we change perhaps this to be login one, two, three, hit save, go back into the browser and refresh the page. 
we now have login one, two, three, which means that we can actually work on this application without having to build the image again because we've bind mounted this, um, this app directory. So now we have a speedier way of how we can actually develop this application because we are bind mounting the app folder inside our container and we can run it and change it and do all sorts of bits and pieces with it with Docker Compose. Now this system that we are initially building right now it's going to be used in the course that I'm developing for packed publishing. That course is all about microservices in Python. So throughout this tutorial series I won't be talking at all about microservices. I'll be demonstrating the initial build of the auto management system that we're using in that course for packed publishing. So if you want to learn about microservices, if you want to learn how to manage secure microservices, all about microservices, then go and check out that course. I'll put a link in the description below and in the cards somewhere at the end screen or something like that. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.